this video we'll be looking at how to work with the files that students upload via email, specifically the photos and the videos as they're sending them off to SugarSync. Here we have SugarSync and we have the uploaded by email folder and we can access that by double clicking and then we've got a list of what's in it. From your current lesson you might want to search by date modified and that will bring the most current things added to it. So right after the class you'll be able to see what they've added. Here's just an example picture that we'll be looking at soon uh, in the Picasa app. So on your hard drive your SugarSync folder shows up in your My Documents um, and it should show up in your Magic Briefcase. So within your Magic Briefcase you'll see a folder called Uploaded by Email. If we click on that, then we can see the files in there, and again we can sort uh, by date modified or by the name of the files, and that's another way to work with the files. But a quicker way to do it is to work through Picasa. So here I am opening Picasa. You can find that in your start menu. It should already be added to your computers. inside Picasa you're going to want to add the Magic Briefcase folder to Picasa so that you can quickly see what's in it every time you open it up. So it should appear over on the left side the, the file structure. Um, I've already added my Magic Briefcase and here's how you do it. So you go to Tools to Folder Manager and on the left side pane you look for My Documents and you find the Magic Briefcase within that. Um, clicking on the little arrow to the left opens up all the folders so you can see what's inside them. I would just recommend adding the Magic Briefcase top level and that way you can see everything that's added now or in the future. Um, once you've got a folder highlighted on the right side you can select scan the folder once, don't scan it anymore, or scan always. There's also face detection. You want to turn that off because it just takes up extra time searching your things for faces. Once your folder is set up using the folder manager, on the left side you can navigate your way to the folder you want to look at and see the contents of. Here I now have the uploaded by email and you can see the picture that um, I uploaded by email earlier of the playground and it's readily accessible. To work more efficiently, you can select a number of the pictures. You can see a green highlight around the ones that I've selected. And from there, you've got a couple of options along the bottom. You can export your pictures. So if you wanted to send them to somebody else, changing sizes. You can also choose to print them. Um, print them in different ways, full size sheets or sheets with smaller images. And selecting on print will allow you to quickly get student work or images from class that you'd like to post up uh, ready to work with. Picasa has, also has some other nice features like the collage, uh, auto collage, a um, couple different formats that you can choose from to display pictures of students or student work. Um, it's really all in all a nice program. It also connects with Google and can be used for Google Sites or blogging uh, in the future.